Hi, in this video, I'm going to use Garmin Basecamp to show you how to install one of our GPS trail maps. Garmin Basecamp is a free product from Garmin. You can download it off their website. Simply Google Garmin Base Map and look for a, a link to their download. Uh, they have a Windows version and they have a separate download for a Macintosh version. And as you can see here, uh, Basecamp comes with comes with two different maps. It comes with a underneath the maps menu. It comes with a worldwide auto routing dem base map, and it comes with a global map. Now, both of these maps, as you can see here, showing the Moosehead Lake area, are, are fairly coarse in resolution. And I want to demonstrate the uh, new base map that we're putting out with our X package and how that uh, provides a more detailed reference in terms of lakes, rivers, and streams. So you'll see that the GPS Trailmasters map is listed here along with its version. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just set up the toolbar so that we have that list of maps readily available. So under the View menu, if you go to toolbars and check the map products, then you'll get a, a nice easy pull down here where you can switch between your maps. So when I click the uh, snowmobile map, you now see our trails come overlaid on top of a background map. And you can see that the, the shoreline of Moosehead Lake has a lot more detail to it than some of your typical background maps. And then you also get um, some other features such as railroads and power lines. Um, this background map has major highways and some secondary roads, as you can see here. The next thing I want to show you um, is similar to uh, map source. Um, Basecamp also has a, a routing tool and I'll demonstrate that routing tool. It's this little icon here. You click that and you, you use this little pencil to click on your starting point and then you rubber band it over to uh, some destination and click on your destination and an auto route is calculated. Um, and you'll notice that lakes are not included in the calculation. And that is by design. So if you choose to cross a lake on your route, your GPS will recalculate when you get to the other side and put you back on track uh, for your destination. Now just like uh, map source, you can you can double click on that route and you can get information about that route such as the starting and end point and more importantly you can get a, a list of turn by turn directions which you you could print out um, you can also download these routes to your GPS uh, if you choose so we're going to, um, to just right click on this route and delete it for now the next thing we're going to go through is how to install these maps onto your, your Garmin GPS. So under the Maps menu, there's an Install Maps option. And this is where Basecamp starts to differ from MapSource in how they do things. Um, as I've mentioned in the past, MapSource is being phased out. And Basecamp is Garmin's uh, replacement product. It is being maintained. Um, you can go online, as I mentioned earlier, and you can see uh, what changes have been uh, made in the latest revisions and so forth. They've had a revision as late as uh, last month. So we want to click this Install Maps, and this actually spawns another Garmin uh, tool called Map Install. Um, for this, you need to have your, your Garmin connected to your computer. Uh, if it doesn't show up here, uh, you can click Find Device. Um, it may take a second to recognize it. 
um, you'll notice that that the the Garmin Montana in this case the internal memory of the unit and the SD card are um, can only be selected as a pair so you you cannot identify which location you want to install your map if the SD card is in there I found that the map will get installed to the SD card uh, so if you don't want to install to the SD card I recommend you take it out of the GPS when you run this process so one thing to point out here is um, it will tell you that that you have a map that will fit on your GPS uh, we don't want to continue we want to go down into the customize because of the the different maps that we have now if you are installing a new version of the trail map over an older version uh, some GPS's like the Montana will allow you to have more than one supplemental map on the GPS at the same time so you could install the second map and keep the older version on the GPS but I don't know um, the value of that so if you uncheck this one it will uninstall the old one and then we place the check mark on the new one uh, to be installed and then we still want to drill down even further and we click on the advanced partial install um, this seems to be some sort of problem that I suspect will get fixed um, it's saying it doesn't recognize these other maps so you want to ignore that and, and you don't want to delete um, your other map although in this case version 6.1 is going to get uninstalled so here are your two maps the inner map shown in the yellow outline is the trail map and we know that it's selected because it its color is blue the background map um, also is selected in this case as indicated down here two total maps selected uh, although it's shaded in green if you right click on one or either map they'll be deselected so now we're back to no map selected so again select the inner map to install the trails to your GPS select the background map to install the the reference features which include the the lakes rivers streams roads railroads etc uh, both maps combined uh, are significantly take up significantly more memory so in this demonstration we're going to install just the trail map and so at that point we can say continue we have one total map selected it says it's going to install our map we click install and in this case it's very quick um, it will not take hours as suggested by one of the screens that you see and that's it it's simple and quick